Hello dear students of class 7. Today we are going to start with a part 2 of chapter 6 more on spreadsheets. Students in the previous part you have studied about the topic selecting cells in which you studied how to select a row or a column, how to select an entire worksheet, how to select adjacent rows and columns non-adjacent rows and columns and range of cells okay using different shift keys control keys and different keys okay then in the next part you start you studied about entering special numbers and date and time okay you also you studied in entering special numbers you studied how to retain the leading zero because when we type a number starting with zero uh, in Microsoft Excel then that zero gets deleted okay or dropped it gets dropped so to keep this zero we use this apostrophe before the number like this and then the number will be say, treated as a text and now you cannot use this in any formula or function or any particular calculation after that students you studied about how to enter date using this slash and hyphen Okay, and how to change the format of your date using the format cells option. Okay, now students, in, the, in today's part 2, you are going to study about the topic changing cell contents. You are going to study the topic changing cell contents. So, let's start with it. Now, changing cell contents. Students, changing cell contents means that an excel sheet is made up of cells okay and cells are the intersection of rows and columns a cell is an intersection of row a row and column so if i talk about this particular cell this cell is a combination of row uh, uh, column f and row 9 that's why its cell address is f9 okay so all the in the excel there are many cells okay now students changing the cell contents means if i select this cell it has some contents inside it this cell is blank but this cell has some content inside it what is written inside it roll number so if instead of writing this roll number if i change it to r n o full stop then what have i done i have changed the cell contents okay i have changed the contents of this cell so how to do it that you are going to study it in this topic different methods to change the cell contents so let's start it now students the characters and numbers typed in a worksheet can be seen both in the cell as well as on the formula bar what is the meaning of this line suppose i have typed roll number suppose let's delete this and type this again okay so suppose i type roll space n o full stop okay over here if i type this over here students then this is appearing on this cell also in this cell b1 also and also it can be seen in the cell as well as on the formula bar so you notice this is the formula bar you know this is the formula bar okay this bar is the formula bar this bar over here is the name box and this bar over here is the formula bar this bar is called as the formula bar so it, so this same thing is appearing in the cell and same thing is appearing in the appearing in the formula bar as well now students this is what this line means now after entering the cell contents okay or after entering the contents in the cell you can either you can press either enter key or the enter key present on the formula bar to accept the entry so let's study what this they are trying to say okay so suppose students i want to enter something over here i want to enter a name over here okay like suppose i want to enter param okay now see students this cursor is still blinking over here okay in the on this cell so right now it has not accepted it now it has gone into the enter mode now students this this 
param value will be accepted by this cell when I click on the after entering whatever uh, I want to enter in the cell I, if I will press this enter key okay so suppose I have written param and then suppose if I and press this enter key then this value will be accepted so see now this value has been accepted and the pointer uh, or the active cell has moved on moved to the next cell okay so this is the uh, enter key which is present on the keyboard okay so this is what is written over here after entering the contents in the cell you can press either enter key okay on the keyboard or enter button on the formula bar to accept entry so one more thing you can do is that suppose i want to enter the total of param suppose i want to enter 75 now still this entry has not been accepted over here so what uh, instead of pressing this enter what i can do see you can look at this this is the formula bar and over here there are two buttons this enter and this cancel so if i press this enter button students uh, the value will be accepted so using my mouse i will click on this enter key and see this value has now been accepted okay now students the only difference between uh, pressing enter over here and pressing this enter okay pressing this enter is that when we press enter with the help of the keyboard the cursor or the active cell moves to the cell which is at the down okay of this cell okay at the bottom of this cell and but if we use this enter then it will not go downwards the only difference is that okay now moving on now when you type the in uh, when you type in the new data in the cell two buttons cancel which is denoted by this cross and enter which is denoted by this tick will appear on the left of the formula bar so what what does this means suppose i type something over here suppose i type 7 over here okay i type 7 over here so now when we are entering still i am entering the data you can see on the left of the formula bar we have uh, we can see these two buttons this enter and this cancel if i press enter then this value will be accepted and 7 will come over here yes or no 7 will be accepted over here but your question will be so what if we press this cancel key so just look what will happen if we press this cancel key if we press this cancel key that 7 will not be accepted and this will again become a blank cell i hope you understood this okay so if you want to accept this you can either press this enter or the enter which is present on the keyboard okay so this is what it simply means now moving on moving on to the next particular uh, this topic cell contents can be modified in two ways what is the meaning of this word modified and cell contents cell contents means whatever is written over here this cell has cell contents param okay what is the content inside this cell Param. what is the content inside this cell 75 what is the content inside this cell 7 so if you want to change this okay or edit this or uh, modify this okay that is called modifying the cell contents so cell contents can be modified in two ways the first way is the first way is students the first way is replacing the cell contents and the second one is using edit mode okay so the first one is replacing cell contents and the second one is using edit mode so let's study about them so replacing cell contents okay let's talk about replacing cell contents let's study this method first so in this method you can edit the cell contents directly and replace them with a new entry okay how to do that open a new worksheet and type in the data as shown in figure so you have to type this data first you have to open a new worksheet so let's do that okay so students you know how to open a new worksheet i have already taught you how to open a new worksheet on windows 7 uh, in the previous chapter 
okay if you people have any problems in uh, the chapter uh, the con uh, the uh, concepts that i have taught in the previous chapter you can go back and watch my previous videos okay so because this is windows 10 i will go to the start button and then i will search for uh, microsoft office okay in the windows 7 we have to search for all programs and then we go to microsoft office here we directly go to microsoft office and then we click on microsoft excel 2010 okay and see the new worksheet sheet one has been opened over here this is my new worksheet and now after uh, opening this wo new worksheet i have to type in the data as it is shown in the figure so i am not typing the data which is shown in the figure but you go ahead and you type this data which is shown in the figure at your end and practice it okay now students moving on so so i have typed this now we are going to modify the cell contents so select the cell whose content has to be changed okay so i'm going to this cell d6 suppose i have writing 56 over here okay so they are saying select the cell whose content has to be changed let's say d6 so i am coming on the cell d6 see this is my cell d6 okay now type 65 in the cell and press the enter key now you can see that already 56 is written over here but what i am going to do i am going to forcefully type 65 over here okay earlier 56 was written i'll show you with the help of on screen keyboard i will go over here okay i will go over here i'll click on this okay just click on this just click once on this not double click and then type 6 5 on this and press the enter key okay and we have moved to the next cell so this is what they are talking now type 65 in the cell and press enter key note that the previous value 56 is replaced with 65 so the previous value which was 56 has been replaced with 65 okay similarly try and change the contents of the other cell so in the same manner if you want to make this 55 and as uh, suppose 95 so just go click on the cell click uh, and type 95 and press enter okay if you want to change the content of 45 to uh, suppose you know 35 you change it if you want to change this 35 to 47 you can do it and so on you can change this data also suppose you want to change the spelling of which so you can do that also okay and you if you want to make any changes in any cell you just go and click on that cell and start typing and then press the enter key now let's move ahead so you go ahead and you practice this at your end now remember students remember that even after watching this video even if you understand everything or you have any doubts after watching the video first thing that you should do is that you should practice this okay you watch the video first then you practice whatever i have taught in the video and then either while practicing you have any doubts then you can ask me the doubt on the on the uh, youtube uh, comment okay just comment on the youtube video okay or after practicing okay if you are stuck somewhere then you can uh, ask me the doubt but please try it on your own watch the video try it on your own and then you if you have a problem then you ask the doubts because computer is a subject where practice is very very essential students okay so let's move on to the next way because i have already taught you this okay so you practice this table at your home okay now the next one is using edit mode the next topic is using edit mode so changing the cell contents or modifying the cell contents using edit mode let's learn this edit mode what is it so they are saying select the cell d6 double click on the cell this time no single click we have to double click on the cell and notice that the data is displayed in the formula bar so I will click on the cell okay any cell i'll click on any cell suppose i click on this uh, cell c5 okay 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 they are telling d6 so again let's select this d6 only so they are telling and now double click on it so i have double clicked with the help of my mouse okay now 
notice that the data is displayed on the formula bar so see as soon as i double click okay the data is displayed on the formula bar this is the formula bar okay so the data is displayed on the formula bar now what we have to do the insertion point will blink within the cell and uh, note that the edit mode is indicated on the left side of the status bar so see there is an insertion point can you see this blinking line after 5 okay this is the insertion point this is the insertion point which is blinking within the cell so this is blinking within the cell and you can also notice that edit mode is indicated on the left side of the status bar so see this one this bar is called as a status bar below this sheet tabs okay so as you can see over here edit is written what is written in edit mode this is the edit mode so as soon as you double click on this the edit mode is displayed on the status bar okay now position the pointer at the desired place and change the cell contents okay suppose now see students where is my pointer my pointer is after 5 yes my insertion pointer point is after 5 but if i don't want to change 5 i only want to change 6 okay so what i'll do i will use these arrow keys okay and i will change the position of my arrow keys and then i will use this backspace backspace button to delete this 6 and suppose instead of 6 i want to type 9 so i will type the 9 and then i will press the enter key so see i have made the changes from 65 i have made it to 95 using the edit mode using the edit mode and see after i press the enter key note down that after i press the enter key earlier it was in edit mode as soon as i press the enter key the edit mode changes to ready mode see in ready mode okay back to ready mode okay so notice that the edit mode indicator changing to ready mode edit mode means a mode in which you are going to change or modify the data and ready mode means everything has been uh, accepted okay now so these this is the method of using edit mode now they have told us we can also edit the cell contents in following ways that means they have given us one two and three more methods okay to change the change or modify the cell contents so although these two more methods are not that much popular in microsoft excel but we we need because they are given in the book we need to study it and uh, we just need to study the concept using them or not using them is up to you okay so let's study this okay select the cell so this is the third method this is the fourth method and this is the fifth method so let's talk about them select the cell in which editing is to be done editing means again modifying the data okay so we have to select the cell in which editing is to be done and then click on the formula bar so what we have to do we have to click on the cell suppose i want to change this mohit to rohit okay or rahul suppose i want to change this mohit to rahul so i will click on that cell as it is written select the cell in which editing is to be done and click on the formula bar so after clicking on this cell i will take my cursor and i will click on the formula bar and then with the help of my keyboard i will change the values okay oh sorry let me click over here in the formula bar and then uh, then i will type r a h u l and then i will press the enter either from here or here whichever i like so suppose i press from here so see i have changed from the now i have changed the uh, cell contents from the formula bar so this is the third method very easy one so now you can make the modification from the formula bar also okay now moving on the next method the fourth method is called as the uh, overtype method okay what is it called the overtype method 
and in this we use the insert key which key insert key so let's study this method although this method is not very popular but still we need to study this method okay so they are saying us to turn on the overtype mode okay how to turn on the overtype mode okay to turn on the overtype mode we need to double click on the cell double click on the cell only by double clicking on the cell you cannot start the overtype mode you have to double click on the cell and then pressing the insert key from the keyboard so let's do that so okay so suppose i want to change this sunil to suman okay suppose i want to change this name sunil to suman okay so what i will do i will using the over type mode so i have to double click and then i will press the insert key it uh, it's short form on the uh, keyboard is written ins okay so press the insert key from the keyboard and notice that this cell pointer okay this cell pointer okay what we need to notice is that you will notice that the cursor changes to a blinking bar and the character to the right of the blinking bar gets highlighted so see this cursor can you see this white colored blinking bar over here okay the cursor has changed to the white colored blinking bar okay and now the uh, letter or the character to the light has uh, right has been highlighted so this is on the left okay this is on the left what the blinking bar and uh, the character to the right is s and that's why only s is highlighted okay so if i want to change anything so i will type uh, suppose i want to uh, change sunil to anil so i will type a and then i will type n and i will uh, i and then i'll type and then i'll type delete okay so see instead of sunil i have changed it to anil using the over type mode and now i'll press the enter key okay so this is how you use the over type mode by double clicking on the cell and then pressing the insert key from the keyboard i know this is a bit confusing okay this method is a bit confusing for you but but when you practice it it will be very easy i can be very sure of that students before asking any doubts you watch the video how i have performed it read what is written over the over here and then you practice it on your own and after practicing even after practicing if you don't understand this then you can ask me the doubt on the uh, youtube video comment link okay but please go ahead and first practice after watching the video you practice it on your own because computer again is a subject where practice is very very essential okay so you practice it okay and then if you have any doubts i will i'm i'm very um, uh, this uh, i will be very delighted that after practicing if you ask me the doubt okay so let's move on so we have completed the over type mode okay how to turn on the over type mode again let's quickly revise turn of the turn on the over type mode by double clicking on the cell and pressing the insert key okay on from the keyboard from the keyboard okay from the keyboard don't type uh, though don't press the insert key from this uh, on screen keyboard okay you will notice that the cursor changes to a blinking bar and the character to the right of the blinking bar gets highlighted start typing in the cell the existing characters will be replaced with the new characters so you saw how i did that changes and the last one okay and the last method is given inside this note and which is it is a very short method how to modify the cell content so let's talk about this you can also change the contents of the cell by pressing the f2 key f2 key is the function key which is present on the keyboard this one you can also uh, modify the or change the contents of the cell by using this f2 key so let's try that okay so what you have to do is after selecting the cell press the f2 key okay after selecting the cell press the f2 key the cursor will blink at the end of the cell content so let's see what happens okay so suppose i want to change this 
नाइन्टी फाइव ओके टू सिक्सटी फाइव नाइन्टी फाइव को टू सिक्सटी फाइव आई हैव टू चेंजेस नाइन्टी फाइव टू सिक्सटी फाइव सो आई हैव सिलेक्टेड द सेल ओके ओनली वन सिंगल क्लिक नॉट डबल क्लिक एंड देन आई विल प्रेस दिस एफ टू की लेट मी शो इट टू यू ओके लेट मी अगेन क्लिक ऑन द सेल ओके सो आई हैव सिलेक्टेड द सेल एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेस दिस एफ टू की सो आई हैव प्रेस द एफ टू की वॉट इज हैपनिंग द कर्स इज ब्लिंकिंग एट द एंड येस दिस इज वॉट इट इज रिटर्न ओवर यर सी वेन यू प्रेस द एफ टू की द कर्सर विल ब्लिंक एट द एंड ऑफ द सेल कंटेंट सो सी द कर्सर इज ब्लिंकिंग एट द एंड ऑफ द सेल कंटेंट ओके दिस इज द एंड ऑफ द सेल कंटेंट एंड नाउ आई कैन यूज दिस बैक स्पेस की to delete this data and then insert new data and again press the enter key so again if i want to change this 47 to 87 using this method select the uh this cell and then click on the f2 key the cursor blinks at the end you use this backspace key to delete and then change it to new and then press then press enter so this is how you change the cell contents using the f2 key so now i have taught you five different methods on how to change the cell contents okay i hope you have understood this in the next lecture students we will study about using undo and redo feature and some more topics okay so i hope you have understood how to change the cell contents using replacing the cell contents using edit mode then from directly from the formula bar okay how to change from the formula bar using the over type mode and using the f2 key okay now what i would suggest is that you go ahead you watch the video okay you have watched the video you practice all these five uh, different methods to change the cell contents and then if you have any doubt you can ask me on the youtube video comments link okay students so go ahead study well practice whatever you are studying and then uh, take care of yourself okay stay home stay safe be well and as usual god bless you all thank you